Hi loves! Ramadan Mubarak to all my Muslim viewers. Tonight the Ramadan starts and to celebrate this I wanted to create a DIY poncho you can make in 5 minutes inspired by Morocco. I had the chance to visit Morocco two times. One time I went to Casablanca and the other time to Marrakech and I wanted to create a tutorial inspired by this beautiful country. What I loved about Morocco is all the design and architecture elements so not only did I create a poncho, I also painted elements which remind me of Morocco. For the music, I chose a song from Lafouine called Tous les Mêmes. Lafouine is a Moroccan rapper in France and what I love about him is that he's so diverse and that he always celebrates Morocco and Africa in his songs. This song in particular, I think it's so perfect for the Ramadan month because it talks about the unity and that we all have more things in common than we are different and if there's one thing in particular that I notice everywhere I travel is that sewing and fabrics are everywhere. So let's all make this DIY poncho together and in the description box I added a link so you can send a greeting card to your family or friends or colleagues that are Muslim and to send them a blessed Ramadan. Thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoy this tutorial. For this tutorial you'll need one yard of jogging fabric, black acrylic paint, paintbrush and tape, and creative stencils from Martha Stewart. You can find all the details of what I used in the description box. Fold your fabric double with the wrong side up, then fold it again. Then cut the neckline in the middle. Open it up and cut the front. Pin both sides leaving enough space for the arm openings. Then sew it and hem the neckline, arm openings and bottom. And that's it! This is what the poncho looks like so far. You can wear it as is or embellish it the way I did. For this I used creative stencils and cut the one I wanted to use. Place it in the middle, then paint over it with your brush. Make sure your paintbrush is saturated, but not too much so the paint doesn't bleed under the stencil. Place the stencil below and repeat. I freestyled it on the front, but it's better to add the tape on both sides to prevent any stains. So I did this for the back. When you're finished, let it dry for an hour and your Morocco inspired poncho is ready to wear. And this is the final look. Hope you enjoyed this easy and arty tutorial. Like this video if you did and I would really appreciate it if you can share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and see you on Monday for another Makeover Monday tutorial.